Okay, welcome back to AP Physics 1. Today we're going to be finding the resistance of this resistor right here using Ohm's Law. So we're going to be testing to see if Ohm's Law works here. So the actual value of this resistor, ooh, I don't know if you can see that, is 50 ohms right there. Probably can't see that. But the actual resistance of this resistor is 50 ohms. We're going to do a little circuit diagram and we're going to get values for the voltage across the resistor as well as the uh, current through the resistor. Using that information, uh, you'll make a little graph and using Ohm's Law, you can determine what the experimental value of this resistor is. So the first thing I need to do is draw a circuit diagram. Let me move in a little bit closer so we can see the circuit diagram that we're gonna be using. Um, it's kind of hard to draw, but I'll do my best. So we're gonna have a little power supply. This will be our variable power supply. Uh, next, we will have a ammeter connected. And the ammeter will tell us what the current through our circuit is. And then from the ammeter, we'll connect to our resistor of value R. And then from there, we will go back to ground. So this is going to be our simple circuit diagram right here. Um, anything else? We wanna know what the voltage is. So we could just look at the voltage across the battery or the voltage across the resistor. It's gonna be the same thing. We'll put the voltage right across the resistor. So I'll put a little voltmeter right there. And so as you can tell, we've got the ammeter and the voltmeter right here, so we need to connect it into our circuit. So there's the picture that we're gonna be using, and what we're gonna be getting is, for different voltages, we're gonna get different uh, currents. So volts and currents. All right, and with that, for different voltages, we'll get different currents with that information, we could do a V versus I graph or an I versus V graph. Together, you should be able to figure out what the value of the resistance is. So now we just gotta set up our circuit here. And I'm gonna do that with you. Here's my power supply. Let's see if I can move it back a little bit. So here we have our power supply. The first thing to do is go from the power supply into the ammeter. And so we'll take our alligator clip um, we'll connect it to the positive end of the battery right here, or the power supply. And then from the positive end, you can see that there's a positive and negative. From the positive, we're going to go straight into the ammeter. So here's my ammeter. I'm going to connect it into here. It's going to go into the ammeter. So into the ammeter and then out of the ammeter. Now I connected it at 0.5. So every one of these little ticks right here is going to be uh, 0.1. So it'll be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. That's the setting over there. Um, so it goes into the ammeter. It goes into the ammeter, just like right here, the wire's going into the ammeter, and then it has to leave the ammeter. Uh, and to do that, we'll just connect another alligator clip to the black end. And now it is leaving the ammeter. All my current is now going through this black wire right here. Okay, so let's just do a quick recap here. The current is going in through this red. That's this. It's going into the ammeter, that's like that. And then it's coming out of the ammeter and now it's in my hand. So we're right here right now. And then from here, we're gonna go straight into the resistor. That's gonna be right here. And then from the resistor, we're going to leave the resistor. Uh, and we'll use another alligator clip, like so. And then once we've left the resistor, once we've left the resistor, we can go to the negative end of the battery. So this is the complete circuit. Now you might be asking yourself, well, where does the voltmeter go? The voltmeter is going to be in parallel with the resistor. So the voltmeter 
is going to be attached right to the resistor. So we're going to be probing the resistor in this regard. And I'll do that using, let's see here, do I have another banana clip? Um, I think I do. Where's banana clip? Here we go. There's one banana clip and there's one more PI. Perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on? All right, so the voltmeter is gonna be a separate apparatus. We'll use, I don't know, I'll put it at 15 for now just because I don't really know what the voltage is gonna be. So I'll put it at 15 and zero. So if it's reading from zero to 15, you're looking at the bottom scale. It's gonna be from zero to 15. If I connected it to the top, it would be, you'd be reading zero to 30. So when you see the needle, you're gonna be reading it from down here to 15 volts. Um, and then we're just going to put this to each end of the resistor. So here's the positive end. So the positive end goes here. Here's the negative terminal. So the negative terminal would go like that. Right through the resistor. All right. So the voltmeter isn't connected with the current. It's only going through the resistor. Just like in our picture right here, the voltmeter is only going through the resistor. Now that I've set up everything, uh, we just have to start turning on the power supply and uh, dial some things in. So let's see. All right. So we got a little bit of current here already. If you want to read that, it's going to be, what is that? Maybe like one volt almost. And there is... Uh, if this is 0.1, whatever that value is in amperes. Okay, so that would be, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. So it'd be like 0 0.02, 0 0.02 amps. All right, so I'm gonna dial it. And this will be our next value. So you can record that. So it'll be like, uh, what is that? One, two, two and a half volts two and a half volts and whatever that amperage is. And we'll continue. So there's four, ooh, this thing just wobbles. There we go. So that looks like it's about four volts and there's the current that's going through there. And we'll go a little bit higher. There's about five volts and five volts gives us one ampere, a 0 0.01 ampere. So five volts at point one, not point zero 0.01. So five volts, point 0.1 ampere. And we could go to maybe seven volts. And seven volts is giving us this value. And then one more. How about 10 volts? Ooh. So at 10 volts, we're getting about 0.2 amperes. At 10 volts, it looks like it's about 0.2 amperes. So given that data, uh, tell me what the resistance is and see if it's close to uh, the 50 ohms that we expect it to be. Uh, so yeah, that's that.